we cut out some eight and a half by eight and a half square. We're gonna drill the holes in these and just route the edges on them. That's all we're gonna do and use it as a platform. I always make sure whenever you start the route, you route the edge with the grain first. So you do this side and this side and then that'll help keep from tearing out. you're going to need a um, two inch uh, wooden ring to hold your plant hanger on. You will need three ply rope and the way that I measure my rope I actually don't measure it with a measuring rod I actually use arm length so let me show you how I do that. So I start from the tip and I measure one arm length, two, and three and I'll cut it at the end. Okay guys, so what I've done so far is I've cut four pieces of string at four arm lengths. Then I got a fifth piece of string and cut it at half an arm length. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that fifth piece of string and do a gathering knot. So that's just going to gather our string together and hold it in place. The way that you do that is by holding the string here. Back up and then we're just going to wrap it around. I just kind of like to wrap it probably about five to seven times just depending on how long I want my gathering knot to be. So for this one I'm going to do it seven times. Once I've completed wrapping it as many times as I want, I'm going to take the end piece of string and pull it through this loop. Now that it's through, I'm going to take the end of this string and pull it and it kind of takes some wiggle room to get it through. And then once it's settled, I'll cut these pieces. So now we're just going to clip those ends. Alright, so now at this point you have two, four, six, eight pieces of string that are hanging down. So you're going to take two pieces of string through each hole on the corners and it'll give you this. Then you're going to tie a knot on each corner. Now that we've got the top piece level, we're going to do the same thing for the next two pieces. Now that we've got all three tied off, we're going to do another gathering knot at the bottom. So you need uh, the half arm length of string again. We'll gather our string and continue on to do the gathering knot. And now we have a lot of extra string. So I'm going to cut it at whatever length I feel. So now we're going to move on to our platform plant hanger. For this one, we're going to use six pieces of string at four arm lengths. So I've already pre-cut the string and now I'm just going to loop it through
and start the knot. So for me, I found the easiest way to do this knot is to hold the wooden um, ring between my knees and then go ahead and loop my string through. I'm going to divide my string into threes and then start my knot. So to begin the knot, you're going to fold your lead piece forward, then fold your second piece over, your third piece will go over your second piece, and then repeat this with your fourth piece. Then you're going to pull all of the string in the direction it's leading to and it will create your knot. So if you continue to do it this way, it would make a square knot, but I want to create a circular knot. So instead of going from one side to the other, I'm going to go um, in a diagonal. So I always like to start with my piece closest to me and then take it diagonally across from where it was. Do this with the second string, third string, and then your fourth string will go under your first string. You'll pull them all in the direction they were leading and it will create your knot. And you'll continue this process until you've created the knot that you want. So once that you have it at the length that you want it, we're ready to add the board. Once you've got the string through the holes on the board, we're going to create another gathering knot at the bottom to hold the board in place. We'd like to thank you for watching. Just a fun and easy way to tie in woodworking and macrame. If you want to see more about what Amber does with macrame, you can check her out at DD Created It. Awesome. On Instagram, Etsy, and Facebook. Awesome. So thanks for watching. Always remember be, be kind to one another. another.